A Singapore-made 3D film on quantum physics has won a prestigious international award in animation. Moirai Thread of Life picked up the Best in Show award at SIGGRAPH Asia 2023 in Sydney last week, beating nearly 400 submissions from artists around the world. For more, we're joined by Joshua Tan, director of Crave FX, that's the local firm behind the animation, and Ina Conradi, one half of the artistic duo behind this film. She's also a social professor at NTU School of Art, Design and Media. Well, thanks for joining us, and first, congratulations for winning this award. Uh, I could read the blurb off the internet, but let me ask both of you, starting first with Mr. Tan, sum up what this film is about, and then very quickly follow up, Professor Conradi. Well, SIGGRAPH Asia is a huge conference centered around computer graphics. You know, there are exhibitions, talks, uh, academic papers. And, you know, one component of it is the Computer Animation Film Festival, which celebrates the best in computer animation. And, you know, for us to win this award is uh, extremely meaningful because it is the first time a Singapore made film won an award in SIGGRAPH Asia. So it's really a huge milestone for us. And, you know, for the film, it's really an, a very interesting uh, amalgamation and mix between uh, quantum physics as well as uh, salvage agent fabrics. It's actually the first time we worked on a project that, you know, allows us to go to such uh, depth and breadth uh, in terms of the graphics and the visuals. And it has been a great collaboration with uh, Ina as well. Professor Conradi, your take on what this film is about? Well, this film is, uh, uh, Joshua said it really well, it sums up uh, our research in quantum physics and art and how they relate. Uh, the project actually started in 2018 and 19. Mark Chavez, also co-director of the film, and I led an immersive film project on quantum mechanics at UCLA Art Science and California Nano Nano System Institute. And then uh, we had a really great resulting film from it called Quantum Logos, uh, Vision Serpent. And that film used Mesoamerican designs and archetypes to explain quantum physics. So we took this idea, brought it to Singapore, and uh, on the, upon return to Singapore and connected with NTU experimental physicist, Professor Rainer Dunke, and then initiated research together with MOE and NTU to look into this time Southeast Asian fabrics and how can uh, these Asian motifs and, and patterns and textile uh, convey very counterintuitive uh, concepts of quantum physics. Of course, artistry of the creative effects and team and everybody involved uh, made the film success. It's a huge, huge success for independent, Singapore's in the independent animation scene. Associate Professor Conradi, that juxtaposition between qu quantum physics and fabric, uh, you've mentioned that it took a, yes. a lot of people to kind of get this concept together. Can you take us through a little bit about the creative process behind this production? Yes, so so again, uh, there are really uh, complex quantum topics like superposition, wave particle duality, and uh, uh, theories like uh, many worlds interpretation. And uh, we uh, looked into fabrics to be uh, uh, and like symbol of universe and all these uh, unexplainable phenomena. You know, Asian civilizations looked into these concepts and uh, and. Uh, principles and try to explain them through iconography. So we uh, basically looked at those patterns and, and colors and used them in the film to uh, create a very non-linear narrative and kind of experiential film. All right, Mr. Tan, let's pick up from there. Now, what uh, Professor Conradi just said, uh, you, before we crossed to her, said this was a collaboration and an amalgamation of ideas and techniques as well. I mean, yeah, actually, techniques, I, 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 that comes from me, and you did not say that. But I take it there's an amalgamation of techniques as well as uh, concepts. How did your team at Crave FX work together with something really quite different and somehow make the best of your strengths together in this film? 
Yeah, so uh, Ina and I go way back more than a decade. So uh, I was a student at NTU and we've collaborated for a long time on various projects. So, um, you know, this is actually a series of uh, short films, actually the third one. And, um, you know, with that as well, it means that, you know, we had a great working relationship. And um, interestingly, our um, the way we approached Morai was done in reverse. So instead of starting with the story, we actually approached it uh, visually first. You know, we, we thought about um, cool visuals that we could create in terms of uh, animation, graphics, uh, etc. And then, you know, we use a story to wrap it all together. So for us, uh, it was really more about, you know, researching the various uh, animation techniques that we could use, uh, technology, software, as well as um, the way we could get uh, cutting edge uh, renders. So in a way, working with this project allows us to have a lot of uh, free reign. And it was quite an experimental process. And ultimately, I think it paid off. Mr. Tan, it looks like a lot of people may have been involved uh, in this creative process. Can you tell us something about who the team members are? Sure. So the production team is from uh, Crave FX. It's actually an animation and visual effects studio that I co-founded back in 2013. So there's about seven or eight people who had their hand in this project, uh, all very talented artists who are extremely passionate in their craft. So we have uh, 3D artists, uh, illustrators, animators and such. Um, the team worked really well together and we felt that, you know, the efforts were really validated when we won the award. So I'm extremely proud of them. Well, thank you both for talking to us about this project. And again, congratulations, Joshua Tan there. Director at Crave FX and Associate Professor Ina Conradi from NTU's School of Art, Design and Media.